Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be servicing uh, a VW uh, Golf. Uh, this particular model is 2007 uh, TDI automatic transmission. And uh, so to start off with, we're going to change the oil. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to show you the location for the filters. Okay, so the oil filter is located here, fuel filter is located here, and the air filter just here, and the cabin filter is inside the under the glove box. So we're just gonna crack over there. Okay, friends, I'm under the car now. I've taken the uh, under tray off, and the location for the drain plug is just here. This one here, and uh, it's a 19 mil socket we're using on it. To undo it, Right friends, now that we have uh, drained the oil, just going to put the drain plug back in. There we go friends, that's that nicely done. Right, so now that we have uh, scared the drain plug, we're going to put the underbody tray back on, which I'm not going to cover in my video. Okay friends, uh, now that I've drained the oil, I'm going to uh, change the oil filter and the location is just here. And uh, we are using uh, a 32mm uh, socket to undo it. So just gonna remove the old uh, oil filter. There we go. That's the old oil filter. And uh, also going to remove the O-ring. Okay. So this is our new oil filter with the new O-ring. So I'm just going to slide in the o-ring first. There we go. Just going to push in, hear the click, okay so now we're going to prime this seal here, the o-ring here and, and this o-ring here with the uh, fresh oil. There you go friends, that's good enough. Okay, so just gonna slide a new oil filter. Always uh, uh, hand tighten it first. There we go, that's good enough. That's the oil filter fitted in no time. 
right friends next bit is to change the fuel filter and the fuel filter is located here okay so we are using uh, uh, tx30 to undo uh, five bolts one two three four five okay so just gonna do that Right, friends. Now that we have taken five bolts off, so I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver. Going to place it here and lift the lid up like this. Just going to do the back side. Okay. So in here we'll have to remove this o-ring. Okay, that's the old o-ring which needs to come off and I'm just gonna pull the fuel filter away from the casing. This is the diesel fuel filter we are replacing now. Right friends, this is our new fuel filter which we're gonna slide in just like that. Okay. Right, so this is the o-ring. So before we fit the o-ring, we're gonna prime it with uh, some fresh oil, engine oil. So that's good enough. So now we're gonna slide it in here. There we go. That's, that's fully scaled. Okay, so now we're just gonna push the lid back in. Right, just gonna place in five bolts. There we go friends, that's the fuel filter fitted uh, in no time. Right friends, the next bit is to change the air filter. So the location is just here. So just gonna crack on with that. There we go friends, this is the old air filter, the situation is uh, not looking good, it seems that it hasn't been changed for years. Right friends, this is our new air filter.
we go friends that's the air filter fitted so now we're gonna fill the engine up with the uh, fresh oil right friends uh, the oil we're using for this car is uh, x pro 530 fully synthetic engine oil right so the capacity for this engine is around about four four and a half liters so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in four liters and then we're gonna check it with the dipstick Okay, there we go, friends. That's uh, just uh, near to the uh, top marking. Okay, as I mentioned, the capacity is around about four liters of engine oil. Right, friends. Now that we have filled the engine up with uh, fresh oil, it's gonna replace the cap. Okay, and uh, just gonna put the engine cover back on. There we go friends, that's that done, nicely, and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the ignition on off, on off for 10 times to prime the fuel filter and then we're going to crank the car up, okay, job done, thank you very much for watching the video.